Hey, Adam Dukes here. Uh, this is take like number seven. You'd think I'd learn going through these damn slides and I get to the sixth slide, I notice an error. Then I, I reshoot it again. And then I get to the seventh slide, I notice another error. I reshoot it again. You'd think uh, after all these videos, because this happens every time I do a video, you'd think I would learn and go through the slides one time before hitting film uh, or before hitting record. But of course, I don't do that. Maybe next time. Anyways, this is a case study of how we generated a 990.1% ROI with Facebook ads on a recent product launch. This was a retargeting campaign. Uh, so what you're going to learn today is the exact numbers behind the campaign and why cost per click, cost per click means very little with retargeting ads. Uh, the foolish mistake I made and how you can avoid it. The two ads that generated the most sales and how spending less than $10 can dramatically increase lifetime value. 98.4% um, of your competition is not doing this. I can almost guarantee it. Completely made up that percentage, the 98.4%. It's probably even higher than that. This is something I came up with back in 2015. I had a Shopify store, and I've talked about it in a couple videos, but I want to share, uh, used it again. I think we spent, it was less than $5. Uh, it's it's more of a branding play, but I'll, uh, I'll get into that towards the end here. So product launch details. Uh, the product launch was open five days. We opened last Wednesday, and it closed uh, last night, Sunday night. Uh, the product was software and training. Uh, the funnel details. Uh, the front-end product was $27. It was a software uh, selling five license. It was a landing page software. Uh, OTO number one was $47. It was some advanced Facebook ads training and some sales, uh, I think some sales training. Uh, it was to help people drive traffic to that landing page that they just bought and then also how to sell that landing page. OTO number two was $47 as well. It was done for you follow-up sequences. It was like 30 sequences, email, text, and ringless voicemail and pre-written for them. They could just plug and play. Uh, OTO number three was $97. It was 20 additional licenses to that front end product. And then OTO number four was the white label version. They could white label the software. They get their own software, their own shopping cart and everything like that. And it started at $197 and then every sale it went up $5 to add scarcity and urgency. And then we kept that off at $297. Um, so after the first 20 sales, it just stopped at the two, uh, it stayed at the $297, I should say. So inside the numbers, so the ad spend was $134.62. Again, this was a retargeting campaign. We didn't run any traffic cold, didn't build an email list, didn't do any um, uh, lead magnet, anything like that, nurture sequence. This was just purely uh, a JV affiliate launch. So we had people mail for us. They were um, compensated 100% on the front end, 50% throughout the back of the funnel. We had a actually really deep funnel. I'm going to do a more in-depth um, video later on this week. Probably look for it Friday, possibly Saturday of this week, uh, giving you all the numbers of the launch. We did about $47,000 in revenue. I'm going to share the profit, how much we paid to affiliates, lessons learned, mistakes made, things I'd do different, things I'd uh, double down on next time. Uh, so back to this launch. I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there. So the clicks, we had 43 clicks at a cost per click of $3.13. The 313, that's where I was from, just outside Detroit, Michigan. Had that uh, area code for uh, for years, and then uh, we got a new one. But anyways, revenue, $1,471. Again, ROI was 990.1%. So inside the numbers, as you can see on the left-hand side, the, we had two ad sets going here. Not sure that middle one. I, I don't know why the zero is in there. I can't even remember. I took the screenshot, and I should have took notes why that middle one is at zero. Uh, click-through rate. Typically, you wanna, you're want you going to see a higher click-through rate because this is retargeting. These people have been to your website. They've been to your landing page before. They're somewhat familiar with you. They likely, they might remember you. Uh, so the click-through rates typically will be high. To be honest with you, 2.24% uh, is not that good for retargeting. I try to get in the 4% and up range. So that wasn't that good. Uh, the CPM uh, is going to be astronomical with retargeting. So $70 is to be expected. As you can see, 43 link clicks, 313 a click. Uh, ROAS is return on ad spend 9.46. Uh, 32 website purchases, $1,274 in revenue. So here is the first ad. Oops, not showing the whole thing here. Let me just slide this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we go. So this is the first ad. So this is strange. You checked out Gamified Lead sales page, but didn't make the investment. Maybe life got in the way. The dog was barking. The pizza guy rang the doorbell. The kids got in the steak knives again. Not to worry. I mean, take the steak knives out of the kids' hands, then head back over to 
check out the Gamified Leads offer. You can check it out here. We have live chat. If you have answers, we have questions. Another call to action. Just try to make it a little bit fun. I like having fun with people, especially with the retargeting ads, even, even to a uh, on the front end ads I like having it but the retargeting ads I have a lot of fun with and as you can see this image if you want to increase your increase your CTR this flat out works I, I use this a lot I've, I've used this for years just a red it doesn't matter the, the color I typically use red black or green uh, I've tried yellow before as well red usually does well black does really really well um, black does really really well it's why I use uh, black slides um, there's a there's some proof that the black background with white text works but uh so this red one worked just it's plain red as you can see gamified leads is live this will increase your uh, click through rate it'll decrease your cost per click and that'll also decrease your lead cost or cost per acquisition if you're uh, if making a sale pretty boring but it's very 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 eye-catching so give it a shot just a black background a red background with a little bit of text again you can't go you can't use more than 20 percent text that's why this gamified leads is very very small in the corner but pretty boring pretty simple to do though and it really 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 works so give it a shot so this was the best performing ad and then here's another ad again a little more fun with this one uh, it's very similar this is strange not like an elephant in your living room strange because there's an elephant in their living room, but you checked out the Gamified Lead sales page. Again, a lot of the copy is very similar. We have live chat. If you have questions, we have answers. No, we cannot help your fantasy football team. It's mid-August. People are uh, talking about fantasy football. We're in the online marketing space. There's a lot of males in the online marketing space, a lot of males like fantasy football. People are gearing up for their drafts here in the next couple of weeks, or maybe even currently planning for the drafts in the coming days. So I wanted to add some relevancy and add some humor with that. So we can help you with the easiest foot in the door system and land high paying loan officer clients by giving away gamification software. Leveraging the same te technology as $2 billion mortgage companies. I basically just took our headline from the sales page and plugged it in at the end there. And then with a, call, uh, a second call to action. So again, I like to have a little fun with it. We'll go down and see the uh, elephant in the living room. Just a weird picture, you know. This ad didn't do as well as the uh, red ad um, sales-wise. Um, and I don't think it did as well um, cost per click either. Or, or the CTR, the click-through rate. Here's the other ads that I was kind of teasing and talking about. So we show these ads to all customers. Anyone who bought any of the products, the front end, all of the products, we show this little thank you. We truly appreciate you for investing in Gamified Leads. If you need anything, please reach out. We're here to help. Again, I think we spent like $3. It was just a page post engagement uh, ad. There's no call to action. There's no link to click. There's no... we don't. There's nothing I want them to do except read this. That is it. And I picked kind of yellow image and I kind of... Um, something that stood out in the news feed so these ads work really well people like them people love them they'll think uh they'll share them which doesn't really make sense because then when they share them to other people they have no idea what the hell they're talking about but people really really like this again it's more of a branding play you obviously can't really measure roi on these type of ads but again you can do this and spend just a couple dollars um a couple dollars a day a dollar a day that you can get uh, mileage out of this because again you're only showing it to your customers if you're in the e-commerce space this works extremely 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 well so that's it hey if you like more if you'd like more content click on uh, the subscribe button down below if you have any questions about anything anything in this video please post a comment down below I'd be happy to answer them again I'm going to do a more in-depth case study video on the launch and share kind of everything the prop the, the total sales what we did right what we didn't do right a couple things we made um, a couple tweaks that we made uh, one like three hours into the launch that made a dramatic difference. I bet you we did 25% of our revenue because it's one little simple change. Um, and actually I was the, I came up with the idea um, and I'd never done it before and I just kind of came up with it, but it helped. I'll get into that here in a couple days. Like I said, probably Friday or Saturday, be on the lookout for that video. If you're watching this video after that, I'm going to try to remember <laughs> and post the link up here. Can't make any promises. Uh, Friday, Saturday seems like a lifetime away. So that's it. If you have any uh, comments, post them down below. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Thank you.